<laughs> Shall we introduce ourselves? Hi, I'm Cindy Kranz. Hi, I'm Michael Sinter Nicholas, and I'm a ballerina. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Christina. And I'm Tony Alvarez. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Thanks for coming out and uh, braving this wet Easter morning. Mm -hmm. Run over any mm -hmm. um, So uh, I guess I guess we uh, we're, we're supposed to talk about voice acting and video games. So anybody have any questions? That's kind of like a good way to start. Yes, sir. Uh, what was your favorite? What was your favorite character game you worked with? My favorite character game I've done. It's got to be Bang Shishigami in Blaze Blue. <laughs> I like that game. Uh, I, I like doing it, and I still look forward to playing my character, but I can't get through Final Fantasy XIII. I play the final boss, Orphan, but I, it's a really long game. And I work all the time. It's, I've, been work, I've been shipping away for months, but I... I, mm. <laughs> I pretty much just play my anime characters that the shows have games for, so... I like everybody I play. I'm just happy to get to do a game. <laughs> Yes. Um, what, how does it differ from doing um, voiceover work for anime and doing voiceover work for games? Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, the, the, there's first of all, there's a difference in, 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 the, in the volume of work there is. In, in an anime, a half hour anime will be between 400 and 600 lines, depending on how chatty it is. Um, uh, most of the games I direct have between seven and 15,000 lines of dialogue. So you have to move considerably faster. Also, less context. In, in an anime, you have the context of all of the characters around you. You're looking at the, at the, at the video, you can see what's going on. In, in games, often the, the lines tend to be just disconnected call-outs, or you only see your lines and not the other character's lines, so you have to kind of guess as the context. Yeah, that's one of the big challenges in, doing, uh, is in keeping the story consistent. Um, you, you record things, sort of every possible outcome of what the character might do all at once. So you're like, oh, great, that successful way to be smart about the puzzle, or oh, I can't figure out the puzzle, or oh, now I'm dead. And <laughs> <laughs> it not getting to unfold linearly is really weird for you know just keeping things straight in your head. And and like Tony said, when you see things out of context, um, there, there's a really good example of that. I have some friends of mine, actually some friends from Japan who now live in Seattle. Uh, work, one of them worked on House of the Dead for Sega, and, um, oh man, anyone played that? Mm. Okay, uh, it's, first of all, it sounds like a speech synthesizer half the time, but it's actually human beings. Uh, but they're just reading down, a, like, a list of words, basically, disconnected from the story, so, you know, there's like, uh, there's one woman who goes, oh no, don't come, don't come. And she's crawling away from a zombie who's trying to eat her. But it really sounds like, you know what, uh, um, uh, you can't get in here, you have to go around the block or something. Don't come, don't come. And it just sounds really awkward when that happens. It's, but the other thing is, technically, you also want to make sure that everything's really consistent, like microphone placement wise and levels. So if you hear, you know, if you're, if you're doing one thing and then the character, the player screws it up and then you have to go to the next set of lines, it all sounds the same, but otherwise, yeah. Context thing is really weird. The one thing I like about it is I haven't had to flat match. <laughs> so, <laughs> just it's the only free play work I've done. So, I thought that was great. That's fun. Yeah, you don't have to match. Them. And even when you do, it's usually it's serious. just the bath is just doing this and you're just, yeah. you know, just making sure you stop on time. Yeah, yeah, let's show you like some some early like pre-viz stuff, uh, pre-visualization. And uh, I'm like, I come in, I'm like, oh, I'm working on a PS3 game. Woo! And then you see the graphics, they're like, this isn't even PS1 graphics. <laughs> uh, and they're like, yeah, smart guy, that's um, this is this rough render. So everything's like, weird, and, like skating and not walking. A <laughs> Foster 3, we worked on against the wireframes. Oh. So that's all we had was a wire, occasional facial color, but mostly just the wireframes. It was interesting, and now I, I, I have no idea what You're on Boss Hour 2? Yeah. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the other thing, you don't even know. Sometimes you work. Two different coasts on the same day. Well, we're, like every actor in town I'm finding out was in Dragon Warrior 7. 
every actor in Los Angeles. <laughs> no, Dynasty Warrior. Dynasty Warrior. <laughs> I'm in it. She's in it. Everybody's in it. Dynasty Warrior. Yeah. Every <laughs> and you find out years later. Yeah, that was one that was a little dubby sometimes, but again, it had like the, the weird muffin flaps. So. <laughs> oh, but sometimes it's it's more. Well, I uh, one of the I did some Ninja Turtle games, and actually for the first few games we did with Konami, they came to New York and recorded it for kids, and it was pretty much exactly the same, except different people were directing us. So um, same room, same engineer, same microphones and mic breeze, everything was same, same, same. But um, part of the way through, we were like, oh. These scripts, um, they're cool, but uh, it sounds like this really feels more like a Donnie line, that feels more like a Leo line. And so, uh, and they were totally open, going, oh, well, you know the characters, so let us know. And uh, other than that, everything was pretty much the same. Dude. <laughs> Next question. Uh, so, a lot of video games now are doing facial capturing for emotions and stuff. Do you guys have any experience, like, for example, LA Noir, that just came out know, a while ago? Have you guys had any experiences with that at all? I've never done vocab. No, a little, little something I can't talk about, I think. The face cap thing is weird because you, um, you're, you can't really move around. Uh, it depends on the technology. It's changing all the time. Uh, some places they'll, they'll do mocap and then they'll do separate face cap. Some places with higher res IR cameras or now there's another system where it's just cameras uh, that aren't infrared with the balls and the dots or the makeup. Um, they, um, they'll do a complete performance capture, so like, I think that's what they did on Uncharted 2. They were able to um, record everything in one pass, so you get really nice organic performances. Oh, the other nice thing about Uncharted was they had rehearsals, which is really, really, really hard. I know, Tony, you've, you've talked a lot about trying to get producers to think about scheduling and budgeting for rehearsals. Yeah. I mean, you show up not knowing anything with like 